the mighty Arco, still probably the greatest steeplechaser of all time, looks out over Cheltenham Racecourse and the preliminaries for the Cheltenham Gold Cup, the 50th anniversary of the first running of the race. Tendall starts odds on favourite. The Queen Mother watches her horse, Game Spirit number four, parading round the paddock. Number three, the Dickler, beat Pendle last year, but the experts think Pendle was just unlucky then. Number five, High Ken. And Charlie Potteen, a 33 to 1 outsider. There's a crowd of 30,000, 2,000 more than last year, and lots of excitement in anticipation of a race to the finish between the rivals for the cup, Pendle and the Dickler. The prize, the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Pendle's defeat last year was the only one in 16 races over fences. Today will decide whether it really was just bad luck. The bookies expect a killing, as usual. Captain Christie with Bobby Breezley up. Game Spirit, written by Terry Biddlecombe, Terry's last race. High Ken with Bob Davies. Inkslinger and Tommy Carberry. There are small fortunes at stake on Pendle, and the punters are almost as sure as the bookies that it's their turn to make a killing. Seven horses at the start. And they're off, racing for the first fence, with Charlie Potteen in the lead and Inkslinger on his tail. Fence number two. Champion jockey Ron Barry on the Dickler has barely recovered from a bad fall yesterday in the Arkell chase. But it takes more than concussion and a black eye to stop a champion. Leaders are opening up a gap, but there's a long way to go yet. Charlie Potteen still in front over the water jump with Inkslinger pacing him. Followed by Pendle, Game Spirit, the Dickler, High Ken, and Captain Christie. No casualties so far. Charlie Potteen still in the lead, followed by Inkslinger. And coming up to the twelfth fence, but with another round to go, anything can happen before the finish. Inkslinger has already gone. High Ken, six lengths behind Charlie Potteen, but still upright and still going strong. Racing for the first fence, second time round. Safely over the first fence. The water jump. Up to now, the race has gone more or less as expected, with neither Richard Pittman on Pendle nor Ron Barry on the Dickler anxious to race up front too soon. Fence number four. Number six. High Ken, now four lengths in the lead, with Game Spirit and Pendle neck and neck, followed by the Dickler, with everything still pretty well according to plan. Then the plan goes wrong. At the third fence from home, High Ken falls and brings down Pendle. Action replay shows just how Pendle's luck ran out again. High Ken, always a dicey jumper, falls, followed by Pendle, and the Dickler comes through in the lead, followed by Captain Christie and Game Spirit. Now it's the Dickler and Captain Christie running neck and neck for the last fence. 
At the last fence, Captain Christie makes a mistake and the Dickler forges ahead. And it looks like the Dickler going on to win again. But then Captain Christie comes through into the lead. And it's Captain Christie racing ahead. The Dickler can't catch him now. And Captain Christie wins for the Irish. The Dickler second. The Queen Mother's Horse Game Spirit third. And Captain Christie with a triumphant Bobby Beasley and the owner, Mrs. Jane Samuel, winner of the Cheltenham Gold Cup 1974. Settling Captain Christie, said Bobby Beasley, made it possible to save his speed for the finish, to win.